road traffic galore. Wind tunnel blowing through the barn. This is the barn I did my last video on, and I was talking about owners letting buildings just disintegrate into nothing when there's plenty of uses for them. Well, immediately after posting that video, my brother called me and said, take the barn, do whatever you want to do with it. I wasn't referring to him in particular. I was just saying in general, there's lots of abandoned buildings that are abandoned that could be saved. And I was talking to him about it, and I said, well, I said, I don't want to take the barn, I said, and interfere with the farming. You know, we're on a family farm, 300 and something acres here, and I don't want to interfere with, with him doing what he needs to do with it. And as he stated, he said, it, the barn's worthless to him. All these rails are too short. He can't get the tractors in and out of here. Uh, depending on how I shoot these videos, the front, back, left, and right is going to be weird. But this side is approximately a foot and a half or two foot lower than that side. So we can't get in that side, but this side we can with the very smallest tractor he's got. So at least I can get in here with the loader to try to get some of this stuff cleaned up. But after talking to him about it and the two pieces of equipment that were in here the last time I filmed, the mower was his, the John Deere seed uh, drill was not. We got that stuff out this morning. He said, man, use the barn. He said, if you can you know, make use out of it, there's no point in sitting here. So fortunately, there's a lot of junk in here, but not a ridiculous amount of junk. It's definitely manageable. And I guess today is the first day. I'm gonna start cleaning and see if I can turn this bad boy into the shop. I need to do a bunch of measurements on it. I need to find the grades, you know, how much lower this end is than this end. And some of these posts are just ridiculously out of whack. I need to start figuring out which ones I need to work on and replace first. The, the road side of the barn is actually way better than the field side. But all in all, this barn is protected. It's kind of sitting down a little bit from, you know, wind. Uh, you can't actually tell, and I don't want to move the camera because it's actually sitting on like a 1920 electrical box that may or may not fall. But this area right in here, we had some chickens down here at one point in time. That is the levelest, driest part with the posts that are in the best shape in that corner. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually get that tore out today so then I can start piling the random stuff around here in that particular spot. A uh, bunch of lumber and stuff, you know, laying around that is more than usable and what I definitely wanna save right now. There's a lot of rot in here, but I, I wanna try to keep what's uh, rot free you know, try to keep that stuff at least until later on in the build. Uh, depending on these videos, you know, they are extremely windy and the road noise is pretty rough and you're going to hear a dog barking. That is my sister's dog. She actually lives right across the street that way and built her house in the same spot that we grew up in. And I was a little bit before my siblings' time, so I played a ton down in this barn. I mean, hours and hours and hours digging. This corner up here actually had really good dirt, and the corner over here behind the camera was spectacular for digging. It was just so soft, and it was cool in the summer, and it was, it was just tons and tons of memories down here. Later in life, I've actually hung tobacco in this barn several times. I was always top rail guy. I didn't like being down below because I didn't like all the crap falling in my eyes and down my back. And the Mexicans we had working for us didn't care for top rail that much. They were scared of heights. So I was, what is that, 40 foot, 40 foot up hanging? It's just good memories. But uh, I'll do a whole video series on this. I would like to have this at least secured where I can keep stuff down here within the next month or so. And by the end of summer, I want to have it pretty much wind tight so I can use it next winter as a shop. Uh, I'm going to keep the dirt floors for right now. I don't mind them, and it's better than where I currently have, which is nothing on a hill. It's just crazy, all the stuff I'm going to have to do down here. But I think this will be a cool project. Uh, I'm going to get to dismantling over here. I'm not going to actually film it because, like I say, with the wind and stuff, there's no point. But I will bring you guys back once we get that area cleaned up. And This is not going quickly. 
this is the area I was talking about cleaning out to uh, start using some storage just to level this ground. I'm fortunate to have a brother who's got a tractor with a loader and lets me use it pretty much any time I want to. <clears throat> I need to go get that and bring it down here and start getting some of this wood out that I can burn. A lot of it I can't burn, but a lot of it I can. Like all this wood back in here, all these tobacco sticks, all this stuff I can burn, there's no nails in it. I need to actually continue to work on down here to get some of this cleaned up so I can move some of this junk here so I can get to the stuff behind that tires to finish that area cleaning up. All these pieces of wood, they can all be burned. It's all just uh, old firewood that was down here. Had to call the scrap man to come maybe get that and some of this other junk. I'm not going to try to pack that stuff out, but I can at least move it with the tractor. Because we're pretty certain, we know the tractor will just step in that door, and I think it'll come all the way down to where I am. I know you guys don't want to just sit and watch me just pick up sticks, so I will bring you back. What a day. I am exhausted. I have taken out a full, I think they're three yard buckets, three yard buckets of trash, three or one yard bucket of trash, three yard buckets of burnable wood, and another bucket or two of scrap metal. I started stacking the new stuff over here and started working on this system of mess. I think the groundhogs have gotten over here, which is what's caused this, because a lot of this stuff's buried. But I've got a good start on it, it's all the better. This wire, I initially started to do this corner up here, but this wire up here is ridiculous. It's very difficult to cut loose, so i got to do something different about that. I might get some fencing pliers or pullers. Get some of them and do that. Depending on how sore I am, I don't even know if I'm gonna work down here tomorrow. I would like to. Just cause it feels good to be up and doing stuff, but it's cold. I've started thinking about, oh damn, falling a hole. As you can see, this tells what percentage each pole is on its mud post. Like this side right here, which is where the bay doors are, one, two, three, four of those posts are completely off their mud post. So I gotta do some work where I'm cutting out the side, so that won't be big in any big deal. This back corner, which is the door where my truck is sitting right now, that is a high priority. This corner is a high priority. And a couple of these 0, 40, and 40s are a high priority of posts to do. So that's going to be on the first, first of the stuff I do in here. As I piddle with these, as I get tired of doing them, I'll work on the outside a little bit. And I've got a bunch of trees on both sides I need to get rid of. I'm actually, I think I'm going to start dating this. What is today? The 16th probably? Sure. Maybe keep a little record in this book of what I do. And how many man hours I do it. You know, that's a good idea. Who is it? Shoot, I got almost 10 hours in it today. So, anyways, I haven't uh, decided what I'm going to see if I can get you unstuck here. I haven't decided. Uh, what I'm gonna call this. This whole barn project. Wow, you're crooked as can be. You know, I don't know what I'm gonna call this project. But it feels really good being able to drive through here. Ow. Ow. 
Hold on, I gotta empty a tank. All right. Anyways, as I was saying, whew, man, I am exhausted. But I think this will be a great little thing. To put it into perspective, the front of my truck right now is when the back is right at the door. So, I mean, it is. The front and rear doors are just unacceptable. I made it in the back door, but had to do like a 14 point turn. And that's why I'm doing the side entrance. If I need to get the doors closed up, the front and rear, and then I will go through and uh, cut the side ones in and get some doors hung there for me to do side work, you know, side entry. But right here is my driveway. I'm really curious as to when the state's going to pick up this trash. They put these trash bags here. So it's real close to the house, and I think that it's it's going to work great. I'm pretty excited. So follow along in this uh, little journey of me renovating a hundred and something year old barn. Anyways, you guys be good and be safe. And we'll catch you next time.